Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Roman and I'm a videographer here based in Miami, Florida. And I'm a big Canon shooter, some of you might know. But sometimes, believe it or not, the only camera that I have with me is the one in my pocket, which is the iPhone 11 Pro. So a lot of times, actually, I do shoot on my phone and to get that footage looking way better, a lot of times you have to use a stabilizer or the microphone, which I recommend. To enhance a better video or audio in your phone, I do recommend using certain accessories. And that's why you probably are watching this video because we're here to talk about this new gimbal by Joby. It's uh, basically a phone stabilizer. They call it smart phone stabilizer. Right now, you can get a stabilizer like this packed with a whole bunch of features for under $100, which is crazy. I linked it down in the description so you could check it out and see all the features it has. In this video, I'm not gonna talk about specs and bells and whistles. What we're gonna do is we're gonna unbox this little guy and we're gonna go through all the features it has and basically show it in real life how it works to see if it's a tool that will help you to enhance your videos and if that's something that if you actually wanna do, buy it, or even if it's worth the money. So let's go ahead and get to the unboxing. The packaging is basically kinda of like an Apple box, I would say. Literally looks exactly the same. Let's take off the seal. Let's check this thing out. This is like the only knife that I got. So let's get this. Let's get this open. Alright, this is a little trash in here. Let's see what's up. So, oh wow, out of the box we get this nice little case. I didn't know it comes in the case. What? No way. Way to go. This looks so freaking nice. I love this case. It feels so good. It feels really, really nice. And their logo here. Oh man, I love this. Let's open this up. So simple. That's all you get in the box, basically. So I get instructions or whatever right here. Yeah, there's a little uh, smart stabilizer quick setup guy. Literally has just like th three steps. Play smartphone, balance the phone, turn on the stabilizer. Super easy. And then there's an app for that. And now we get this other little book with all the, I guess, manuals, instructions and whatever. And some cables. So I can see an iPhone cable, micro USB, USB-C. And that's, I guess, just the regular charging cable. And here we have this little box. Let's see what's inside. Maybe some tools or what? Oh, it's a, little <laughs> it's a mini tripod. How sweet that is. It's so tiny and so cute. Let's open it up. So we got the stabilizer. Let's get this out of the way. This is how small is this tripod. And this is the gimbal. I mean, the stabilizer, I guess you call it. So there are no screens or anything. I guess you get the app for that. And here, how you just connect the little tripod. And let's see. All right, just like that. So it'll stand up like this. And the phone just goes in here. Let's see how do you adjust this. Aha, uh -huh, easy. Just like that. Oh, it, go, it goes from the both sides. Basically, you can just kind of like stretch it out. So, like this, and it's there. And the access is locked. Wow, that is so cool. I wish my Zion crane would have the lock. It's not gonna wiggle around when you carry it, because if the access were not locked, this would be moving like crazy right now. But you only need them unlocked when you're actually using the gimbal, right? So you pull here to extend. No way. That is too freaking cool. So you can extend it like a little selfie stick. And then you can cut it back. Uh, some controls here. USB. Handle. It, it's pretty solid. I really like it. Let's see if it'll turn on. I should read the instructions. What? It's already on. And it's on and it's working. And let's say I can control it, right? So this will move it this way. Too fast, not too slow. That's good. I can already have some stable footage. Let's actually take it out outside and put it to some work. Here's a little vlogging test. I'm holding my arm all the way out. This is as much as you could get on the iPhone 11 Pro. And I'm gonna pull out the 
the stick to see how far I can actually get in the frame. And this is the difference. So this is fully extended with the extended stick. That's as far as you can get. I think that's pretty far. And again, at the same time, you can control this. Oops, wrong way. So as you pull it out, you can control it. And it kind of goes slow, but it's pretty cool. All right, and now I'm gonna try to run a little bit and to see how good is stabilization. So this is me running. And I am not extending the Joby at all. This is just without anything as is out of the box. What do you guys think? And now I'm gonna extend it just like this. And we're gonna run a little bit more. This is what we're getting. Front facing, the tripod extended all the way out. Welcome back to my regular program. I actually unboxed it about two weeks ago and it's been a pretty handy tool. And I've learned a lot about it and I wanna share with you some of the things that I like and I dislike. So first of all, the build quality. It's a bit like any other Manfrotto or Joby product. It is pretty solid. I didn't find any issues at all. The only little thing that you would have to be careful about it when you do buy it is these locks. I do like the locks. So basically you would lock in the axis so it doesn't wobble, right? But if you do turn it the opposite way, you will break it and it's plastic. So mine ended up actually breaking and it's not a big deal because it's still working, but it's not as tight grip as it should be. So this axis, for example, is tight in there and you would have to watch where you turn it. So you will have to twist it this way. See, I was about to break it again. You twist it this way to unlock it and now we have this moving freely. Other than that, I didn't find any other issues with it as far as build quality. It was actually my fault, so just be careful when you do get yours and don't mess it up. I really like this tripod. This tripod is super sweet. I could probably call it the smallest tripod ever for any camera because you could basically use this as a tripod. Like, let me show you. It's, let me just grab one of the cameras. So here we got the 6D Mark II, right? And it just connects straight up like this. And it will hold your camera, like literally. Mini tripod. For the phone, you don't have to go crazy and stabilize each thing. What is recommended is to use the phone without a case first of all. So you take off your, your case, which is kind of a bummer, but it's not gonna wobble. So it's recommended to do that. You could attach it horizontally or vertical. So this turns, twists, and for example, this would be your horizontal way. And you'll put the phone all the way in, in order for it to work perfect. And then there's a little ruler here on the side, on the back. You, you make sure you stabilize it properly. So you go in or out and then check if your phone turns. So if it turns like that, it's wrong. You check it again, it's turning the other way. So you get it to the position where it's staying straight. So this is not straight, this is straight, that's it. As soon as you get the phone in, it's there solid, it's not gonna fall out, it didn't fall out for me, not even once, and I was using it when I was skateboarding and all the other things, and it was pretty windy, it was fast, and it did not fall out. Also, they've included, as you saw, this little case. I love the case, but I probably won't be using it. I just like how it looks. It looks really nice. You can have the feel of an expensive, fancy product, and you can put it in. But it's just gonna take space in my backpack or any other thing that I'm bringing with me, unless you're super crazy about keeping your things clean and tiny, but I'm to the way where I just wanna take out the tools that I have really fast. So I'm not gonna be using the case, so. <laughs> no, 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 we're not gonna just throw the case at all that setup that I just, come on, come on. You also do get the app with the Joby tripod and it is free app. What it allows you to do is connect your phone with the tripod. It connects over the Bluetooth, it connects just like that. You don't have to do anything. Turn on Bluetooth, open the app, it's connected right away. So you would turn it on and when you have the app connected, you can use the app as your camera or you could use the camera of the phone itself and it will still work. So on the stabilizer, you have the button to take the photo or to record the videos. So you tap the button to take the photo once and you press and hold to do the video and it will record it in the app if you have it open and connected. Or you can just close the app and use a regular camera app and use the same buttons. Also, there are different modes in the stabilizer, just like in any other camera gimbal. So let me show you, for example, this is just the standard mode the gimbal turns on. So see what's happening. If I'm turning, it's turning with me. With one tap of the button, it changes to a different lock mode. So no matter if I'm turning the stabilizer anyway, the phone is just gonna be locked into this direction. So now you could use the vertical mode. 
which is done very easily. You just turn the back of the gimbal just like that. I've had some issues, to be honest, with the vertical mode. You have to be careful when you stabilize it because it will start jittering. And let me show you here in this footage. But I found the horizontal mode works kind of better for me. I can literally just try to hammer somebody with this gimbal and nothing's gonna happen. Like, see, if you worry about your phone falling out, no, <laughs> watch it fly out. <laughs> that would be a fail, but nah, it's pretty good. Like I said, I've used it many times, skateboarding, longboarding. And as far as charging and the battery by itself, it lasts forever. Like it doesn't die on you at all. You could be using the thing all day and it's solid. It does not die. And another cool thing is you could use this thing as the power bank. So all those little cables you saw when I did the unboxing, you could actually attach the cable here to your phone and it will be charging your phone as you're using. So that's pretty helpful. So overall, as you saw, it's a great gimbal, especially for the price, it is crazy. Then nowadays you can just get a little stabilizer like this for under $100, that's incredible. So my final conclusion, who is this gimbal stabilizer little thingy for the phone is for? I mean, it depends. It could be as a little small extra tool when you don't have time to pull out your big camera setup, your gimbal setup, this and that, but you just wanna get this shot now and here and then. So for me, it's a backup tool when I don't have my camera with me. It really does help to bring the footage that you already have in to the next level for only 100 bucks. The only next thing that I would be recommending to use is a little microphone. I'll also put a link here in the description so you can check some options that are best microphones that I've been using with the phones and they actually do work and even in the wind it cuts out the wind noise and you get the perfect audio and you get cinematic looking like shots out of this small setup from your phone from your pocket without carrying any huge setups so i do think it's a great tool for only hundred dollars to enhance your video to put it to the next level so i would be recommending for anybody to get this actually not only if you're not into photography videography but if you just want to make little videos from your vacation look way better just make them look on the next level I would totally get this. Well, on this note, that was it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you wanna see more videos like these. It does really help out my channel. I do a lot of travel videos. I do gear review videos. I do tutorials. Anything about camera, photos, videos, it's all here. Please show some support. Like this video, comment below what do you think about this gimbal. I'd love to hear your opinions. But for now, I'm out. Peace, till the next time.